Hey friends, today I'm going to give you a tour of a vacation home that is absolutely amazing. Eight bedrooms, all of them separately themed, something for everyone. We have a Cinderella Royal Suite, a Jabba the Hutt movie theater, and even a night bus bedroom. So, let's go do this. The name of the house is Jabba's Hut by Happily Ever After Luxury Playhouses. And this place is a playhouse. Every room has things you can play with, costumes you can dress up, something for everybody. Like I said, Harry Potter, Star Wars, princesses, pirates, Moana, Rocket. And I absolutely love it. We're gonna just give you the grand tour and show you because if you're a family and you wanna come visit Walt Disney World or Universal Studios, I feel like this is like the perfect accommodation because it has something for everyone. Most of the other houses that I do have one central theming. This is like the combination of everything. Like all of it combined. So everybody will have a bedroom that they enjoy. The first bedrooms I'm gonna show you are the Harry Potter themed ones. And I think we'll start in Diagon Alley because there is a night bus bunk bed. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely love this bedroom. There are so many details in here that it's just driving me insane. They have a leaky cauldron happy hour menu. That is so awesome. Hagrid and Harry. And then over here, one of the signs say, <laughs> our house elves are currently on strike. You will have to clean up your own mess until future notice. I love it. Right next to the Diagon Alley bedroom, they have another Harry Potter themed bedroom that takes place in Hogwarts. And I think it's so fun because you're in Diagon Alley and then you could be in Hogwarts. I definitely would want to sleep in the night bus. I think it's so awesome because technically you do sleep in the night bus and just take a look. You can actually open the doors up and just climb in there. How cool is that? And then right next door, like I said, you can go to another bedroom that is in the Hogwarts castle. And you've got some friends in here as well. <laughs> look at this. It's so beautiful. I love the theming in here. And every single room, like I said, has things to play with. So you can dress up in whatever house robes that you want. They have wands you can play with. They even have brooms. So it's, it's literally a gigantic playhouse full of just amazing mysteries. <laughs> Another interesting thing to point out, a lot of the other houses that I've been to don't go too far into theming with the bathrooms. Each bathroom here has a theming for where the area of the house is. So there's a Harry Potter themed bathroom right next to both of these Harry Potter bedrooms. I'm gonna show you the bathroom, but first I wanna point out a couple things in the room, like the pumpkin juice and the floating candles above the bed. Look at how high these ceilings are. It's like so beautiful. Everywhere you look, Hedwig. And because there are so many different things in this house, like I said, if you have a bunch of kids and some of them like Harry Potter, some of them like Star Wars, some of them like Pirates of the Caribbean, they all have something they would enjoy. And that's what makes this place very unique. They have a little room down here that they use for storage and you can see all the letters trying to make it in there to Harry. And the bathroom is right next door here. And I love it because <laughs> the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Beware and take a look at that mirror. The Pascalis. This is so amazing. Ministry of Magic this way. Oh, so clever. Now I think we'll jump right on over to the Star Wars side and I'll show you some of the cool bedrooms they have over there and the movie theater and then we'll show you some of the common areas and then like I said the princess and the Cinderella suite. There's a lot happening so <laughs> please make sure you guys let me know what your favorite themed bedroom was or just favorite themed area in the house. Let me know in the comments. Like I said it's going to be tough for me to decide but I'll try to pick one by the end of the video. This is the living room itself, and you can see 
The name of the house was Jabba's Hut, and it's by Happily Ever After Luxury Playhouses. And take a look at Obi-Wan and R2 up there. And they even have a little quote there. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. That is amazing. And look, I can't get over how tall the ceilings are in here. This place is a mansion. I love it. The reason they call it Jabba's Hut and the reason that I really wanted to come check out this place is because they have a Jabba the Hut Palace movie theater and it's not a Star Wars themed bedroom but they do have a Star Wars themed bedroom we'll get to. This though, I feel like this is going to be it for me. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is where I am spending all of my time. <laughs> Look at this. Unbelievable. So many things happening in this movie theater. I'm going to have to turn on the lights just to show you because it is like it's 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 art. It's an art. <laughs> this could be the coolest movie theater I've ever seen. You have all of your favorite Star Wars characters in here, including Jabba the Hutt, which was such a, a pleasant surprise. And I could spend hours in here. Carbon Han, Chewbacca over here. You have Boba Fett. Wow absolutely amazing this is just and like i said it's it's a work of art and i i am kind of like taken back a little bit by it because it's so amazingly put together wow i don't even know what to say plenty of room to just hang out nice theater like recliners and the coolest thing is you can dress up like your favorite star wars character they have them all they have everything all of the Star Wars costumes, the helmets, lightsabers, everything, wigs, it's like endless. And of course, we have the game consoles here so you can play Star Wars games. This is perfection, absolutely amazing. The amount of detail is just on par with the best that I've ever seen. So much that the water heater tank over here is even painted with some Star Wars logos. That is a nice touch. That's keeping it in theme and that is being immersive right there. Don't you agree, C-3PO? Right next to Jabba the Hutt's Palace Movie Theater, which I've already said I think this is my favorite spot. I definitely would want to stay there and I'd probably spend the whole entire day in there. I would sleep in there and just watch every single Star Wars movie. Uh, but anyway, there's a Star Wars themed bedroom right next door and it's kind of like Rogue One. Take a look at this. I love it. This is like a bunk bed, but oh, wow. This is so, so amazing. I love everything that's in here. And before, like I said, we talked about how everything has something to play with and you can dress up. They have helmets. And then over here, they literally have Star Wars ships that you can just pull out, even Star Wars figurines. This is perfect. Like, not just for the kids, because you know I'd be sleeping up there. You know it. Look at it. <laughs> that is so awesome. The walls are just so beautiful. Everything is just bright. And the color scheming is perfect. This is really awesome. I am shocked with all the detail that goes into these rooms. Like, you are very immersive. And it's, like, like I said, it's a playhouse. Like, it's nonstop fun. Another cool thing about this room is it has its own bathroom, but it also has a little tiny baby's room. <laughs> I am a Jedi, like my father before me. And then take a look at the crib. <laughs> you got a little baby Yoda right in there. This is so awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, that is, that's cool. I love it. I know I get super excited and giddy and say, I love it. I just kind of, I, I, I don't know. This is just how things come out for me. Next to the baby's room, it has a beautiful bathroom. It's kind of like Cloud City in here. It's so bright. A jacuzzi tub, the walls and the pictures. It's really, really nice. And even a stand-up shower behind the door here. I didn't even see that little thing over here. I like it a lot. 
now that we have showed you the Harry Potter and the Star Wars sections of the house, we're going to have to show you some of the other princesses' room. Like I said, the Cinderella Royal Suite, they have Beauty and the Beast, Pirates of the Caribbean, Moana, and we're only on the first floor. We still have to go up to the second floor. There are one, two, three, four five bedrooms on the first floor. We've checked out three of them and the movie theater. So we have to show you the other two and then make our way upstairs. The next bedroom I wanna show you is Rapunzel's Tower. But first I wanna take a stop here in the kitchen because it's a Little Mermaid themed kitchen. Take a look at Ariel up there. And it's just so nice. Comes with all of the up to date appliances and a nice big kitchen table right here but the coolest thing is in the backyard. I don't usually show a lot of the backyard or pool area because it's not well themed, but this one has something special and I think it's really, really unique. It's got a very nice pool in the back and a Cinderella carriage right there. So we're gonna have to take a look at that Cinderella carriage. Isn't that so cool? It's a Cinderella carriage in the backyard so you can come out here and play and take photos. This is really, really nifty. It's a pretty decent backyard too. A lot of these homes don't even have backyards. They just have the screened in uh, pool areas, but this has the best of both worlds. And look at that pool. It's so nice. I think they call it Shamu's pool. I'm gonna head back in now and I wanna show you Rapunzel's tower bedroom. It's an actual Rapunzel tower. Just think how cool that is. And of course, there's lanterns. Take a look at this. It is a gigantic tower castle for Rapunzel. I love this. Oh, wow. Any girl would love to stay in here. Look at Rapunzel's hair hanging out the side there. And this is bunk beds too. So they have one up top there and one at the bottom and it has a slide. This is really, really cool. Kids would love this. You can dress up as your favorite princesses. They have all the costumes in the closet. Wow, really, really themed. You Honestly, the castle tower bed is really awesome. I kind of want to take a climb up there and just see what it looks like at the top. This is, this is something else. I mean, where do people even get this? Like this is, I feel like one of a kind almost. You can just climb right up the steps here and we'll take a peek see here. <laughs> that is amazing. I am really blown away with all the themed beds in here. Like we talk about themed bedrooms, but the beds are themed themselves. You have a night bus bed, a ATAT -AT bed, and then <laughs> Rapunzel's Tower. Mind blowing. The next room I wanna show you is the Beauty and the Beast suite, and that will complete all the bedrooms on the first floor, and then we have to head upstairs. But this one is really awesome because it's got a bell bathroom. The Beauty and the Beast suite is such an elegant room. Like, honestly, I feel like it is very, like, upscale and classy, kind of like how Belle is. Like, just beautiful in general. I love it. Look, wow. Everything from the pictures to the drapes, the pillows, the bed, the bed frame is just amazing. I don't know if this really has anything to do with Beauty and the Beast, but this is a luxurious bed. Like picture, oh no, this is a tap area, like a rug. I like this. Very, very nice. So elegant, so clean and fresh looking. Definitely somewhere I wouldn't mind spending the night, but I'd still be sleeping in Jabba the Hutt's palace. And like I said before, it has a bell bathroom, a bell themed bathroom. So clean and elegant in here too. Definitely can see Belle getting ready for a ball. She's the Belle of the ball. <laughs> nice stand up shower there. Now we're gonna head upstairs to the Cinderella Royal Suite and the other rooms. And first I wanna stop and just look at Rocket again because I think that's such a cool greeting. Soon as you walk in the door, you're greeted by Rocket and Groot. And then you have all of these amazing Disney classics, Monster Inc., Moana, going all the way up the staircase. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty shocked how big 
the ceilings and how tall it is in here. And you get a close look at Princess Leia and uh, R2-D2 and Obi-Wan up here too. This is where we were looking down at the living room. Hello friends. The first bedroom is the Cinderella Royal Suite. And take a look at Cinderella's dress here. So beautiful. I love the keys and the walls themselves. And a nice little day bed with a glass slipper. This is so pretty and this is kind of like a loft. So that's what kind of makes it so nice. It's like a Cinderella like royal suite loft. Very, very cool. The figurines, very classy. A dream is a wish your heart makes. <laughs> I just, I, whenever I think of it, I just want to sing that. And look at, I just love this wall. It's so amazing. And I'm not too sure, oh yeah, so any of the mannequins that are dressed up, these are just for decorations, so you can't wear these. They give you little warnings that say uh, costume is for display only, but that is gorgeous. And the picture up here changes. Wow. The next room I wanna show you is the Pirates of the Caribbean room, and that is so amazing because there were so many pirate fans out there. Captain Hook fans, and of course, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the attraction. So this one is definitely a favorite. And of course it has a pirate ship themed bed. The Black Pearl. This is so amazing. Wow, look at this. That's a little terrifying, but I would love it. Wow, this is so cool. And you can actually go down below. Look at that, like a little play area down here. Oh, wow. The room has so many cool pirate things in here. Not just Pirates of the Caribbean. And of course, keeping in themed, they have a ton of pirate costumes, including Captain Hook. Captain Hook, you can dress up like the Hook. Wow. He even have his swords. So you have swords to play here and treasure chest and another bed right here that this one is really cool because look at this. Look at the headboard. That is amazing. And then the keys over here. I love it. So, so cool. Jack Sparrow. This is a really, really fun room as well. The next room right next to the pirate themed bedroom is Moana. So we better make way. Make way. Make way. Moana. Wow. This is so elegant in here. What a beautiful room. This is like amazing. Look at Hey Hey and Moana and then the tiki statues. This is so nicely put together. Maui over here. Oh. Perfect. This is, so, I, I honestly, I like this room and it, it's kind of like perfect color scheming with the windows, the painting, the pillows, the bed, everything just blends together perfectly. It has its own bathroom, but like I said, everything just blends together perfect in here. And I love the colors and lighting in here. It's like just so pretty. I love Moana though. The bathroom is nicely like beachy themed and Moana themed. Seashells all over the place. The colors, the floor. They really do keep everything themed together. And that's what I like about this place. The next room is gonna be the last room and this one is so beautiful. It is a Sleeping Beauty themed bedroom. And you can see we have Cinderella, Belle, and now Aurora. I mean, that's the best, I mean, this is such a dream house. Wait till you see the bed in here. Oh, and then the costume. This is so beautiful. Above the bed, it says, I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. Of course, there is a picture of Malvison in the corner here. The rose petals on the bed. Everything is perfect in here. The artwork, the mirrors. I really, really like this room. And I mean, I'm not even the princess. This is it just it's just a really good themed room. Like you can tell, like there is so much going on in here. Take a look at the flowers over here in the vase. I love it. It also has its own bathroom, and that is just as beautiful as this room. Look at that. 
so elegant. Once in a while, right in the middle of an ordinary life, love comes along and brings you a fairy tale. Poetic. So please let me know what your favorite bedroom was or your favorite part of the house was. Obviously, I said I was going to pick a winner and I'm pretty sure it's Jabba the Hutt's Palace. I mean, that was so, so cool. If you want some information, I'm going to show you something where if you want to book here or stay here uh, and find availability, this will have all of the listings itself. They have a website for booking, stayhappilyeverafter.com, also on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll put the link in the description below too, just in case you do want to stay here, very close to the park. So it's uh, convenient for anyone that's vacationing. And with that, I think I am done here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I love showing you these homes are so interesting to me and I appreciate the detail that people put in and the thought process and the imagination. It's really creative. So I hope we'll see you next time. Bye.